Hi everyone, this is Bob from the Netscope team, and I'd like to demonstrate how Netscope enables safe collaboration in Google Workspace. Now the Netscope platform provides a number of advanced capabilities that protect data, defend against threats, and ensure that users have fast and secure access to Google Workspace's collection of productivity and collaboration tools. Let's see Netscope for Google Workspace in action. Let's start with how I have Netscope deployed for today's demo. An inline deployment steers traffic to Netscope, so policy enforcement and protection takes place in real time. Now, there's a variety of traffic steering options available. For this demo, I'll be using the Netscope client, which is deployed on my managed device. Now, also, it's important to mention that Netscope's globally distributed edge network ensures that security controls can follow the data everywhere it goes without impacting end user experience. Now you can also deploy Netscope out of band using an API connection from Netscope to Google Workspace. Now this enables continuous security posture checks and protection of data at rest. In today's demo, we're gonna combine both of these deployment methods in order to provide full protection of data in motion, as well as data at rest. For the first use case, I want to focus on visibility. And here is where I want to spotlight Netscope Advanced Analytics with a dashboard that is tailored specifically for Google Workspace. Here you can monitor overall activity in Google Workspace, how many active employees are using the services like Google Drive, Google Calendar, and Gmail, what instances of Google Workspace are in use, track data movement, activities being performed, and get a risk and compliance centric view and a look at the scan results from cloud security posture management, top policies and alerts, and malware and DLP violations. The next use case is granular control. And this is where Netscope's Zero Trust Engine comes into play. The Zero Trust Engine enables you to make risk-based decisions when granting access to destinations such as Google Workspace. From identity and device posture to determining whether the destination is the corporate or personal instance of an app like Google Drive, Netscope provides industry-leading context, which enables more effective policies that better align to zero trust principles. Let's take a look at the zero trust engine in action. Now we're gonna start with cloud app trust. And this is where Netscope provides a comprehensive cloud app trust database with more than 70,000 cloud apps. Now, if we look at one of the cloud apps, Pastebin, cloud apps like Pastebin are assessed with a trust score of zero to 100 using more than 50 different criteria. You can see Pastebin has a very low score. If we look at the details of the scoring, the criteria span several categories. Now, the app trust score is an important input when making a policy decision on granting access. Let's go ahead and take a look at a policy that will coach users when accessing any of the 400 plus cloud storage apps if the app has a poor trust score. With our policy in place, if I attempt to access the app Pastebin that we focused on earlier, I get the coaching message and I am redirected to an app portal where I can access corporate Google Drive. App Trust was an important input that helped me make that more effective policy decision. Cloud App Instance is another risk-based input that helps inform a more effective policy decision. Now here's a policy that will allow uploads to the corporate instance of Google Drive. This is enabled by Netscope's patented instance awareness. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine this with another policy that will coach users when uploading data to any Google Drive instance that is not the corporate instance. Now this is important because it's very common to have dozens or even hundreds of Google Workspace instances not managed by IT. With our policies in place, let's download a file from the corporate Google Drive so we can make some changes and collaborate. Now what I do next is the risky activity. This is where I want to upload the file 
to an instance of Google Drive that IT does not manage. Now this is a challenge because if you look at the URL, as I switch between instances, the URL does not change. So using a typical security product like a Secure Web Gateway or a firewall is not gonna work. In this case, Netscope's instance awareness detects below the URL and is able to identify that that is the unmanaged Google Drive and we're able to stop the upload. But what if I wanna make a change and upload the file to the corporate Google Drive? Netscope allows that because we treat that as a trusted destination. That is instance awareness in action, safely enabling collaboration in applications like Google Drive. Okay, so the next use case is data protection. And this is where Netscope provides industry leading data protection that protects data at rest in Google Drive and data in motion to and from Google Workspace apps. Now here's an example policy for protecting data at rest. We could scan both the content as well as the details of apps connected to Google Workspace via OAuth. We can choose all users, a specific user, group or OU. And for file sharing, there are a number of options. For this use case, we want to look for files that are shared externally. In addition to the type of files, we can bring in Netscope's industry-leading DLP to identify sensitive data in Google Drive that is exposed externally. I will choose PII data for our DLP profile. Now for the action, we can alert the security team change ownership of the file, delete the file, even disable print and download of the file. We can encrypt it, we can apply IRM protection, place the file on legal hold, quarantine it, or even place restrictions. A variety of options. Now for this example, we'll choose to restrict PII data in Google Drive to only current domain users, so no external users. Data will be continuously scanned and if PII data is found and is shared externally, the share will be changed to internal domain users only. In addition to protecting data at rest in Google Workspace, Netscope also protects data in motion going in and out of Google Workspace. In fact, Netscope's industry leading DLP protects data everywhere it goes from cloud all the way to endpoint. To demo this, let's look at a real world scenario where we have an employee that is leaving the company and they wanna take some sensitive data with them. In fact, it looks like that first name is the person's boss who told them that they have their days are numbered at the company, so they wanna cause some damage. So the first thing that the employee may do is they may do the download of the document and upload it to any of the thousands of cloud apps that are out there. Uh, such as Dropbox, so they go ahead and do that. This is where Netscope can detect sensitive data, go into any of the thousands of cloud apps and, and block the employee. But the employee has another trick up their sleeve. Uh, they found a scanned image of their boss's social security card number. Now this is very blurry, it's, it's pretty small. So this is gonna be hard to use techniques like optical character recognition, but this is where Netscope's machine learning powered data protection comes into play where we can identify images and objects with very high efficacy and we're able to block that scanned image also going uh, to the cloud. Now, the employee says, okay, they're looking at uploads and downloads, but what if I go ahead and fire up an email and I'm gonna use this as my kind of escape path, if you will. So they're gonna go ahead and email this to this Gmail address and instead of uploading it, they're gonna paste their boss's data directly into the document and leak it that way. Netscope, once again, uh, looks at all types of applications, including Gmail data being sent via Gmail, and we're able to block that sensitive data being sent via Gmail. Now, the employee does have one more trick up their sleeve, and this is kind of the age-old trick of taking a screenshot. So if I look at this document, I do a live screenshot right now, I now have a resulting image uh, that basically contains that sensitive data. And instead of uploading this to a cloud app or trying to email it, let's bring that all the way to my own USB storage that I plugged in to take that data with me 
uh, as I leave the company. This is where Netscope was able to detect the data going all the way to USB storage and uses machine learning to detect the presence of screenshots as well. So there you have it, following sensitive data everywhere it goes. The next use case is threat protection. This is where Netscope provides advanced threat protection that looks for unknown and known threats that exist both at rest in Google Drive, as well as in motion going to and from Google Drive. Let's take a look at this in action. The first scenario is malware is attempted to be uploaded to a Google Drive folder. Netscope scans that activity and blocks it in real time. The other scenario is, let's say we have this risky website. Netscope looks for a variety of activities such as visiting risky websites and block it. And then what we can also do is apply machine learning based techniques to identify uh, when you have fake pages that are architected to harvest employee credentials, such as fake Google login pages. And this is where you need advanced techniques that not only look for uh, threat intelligence to, to identify that that is a known destination, but in many cases, it's an unknown destination. So now you need to actually inspect the contents of the page in real time, even if you have JavaScript that's rendering the HTML components, have any system that understands that, you know, that is not a real uh, Google login page and will block and protect the user. So advanced threat protection, similar way to data protection. It basically follows the data and the user everywhere they go, protecting from advanced threats, malware, ransomware, and cloud phishing. Okay, so the final use case is posture management. And this is where Netscope utilizes an API integration with Google Workspace to continuously monitor the security configuration of Google to ensure that things are not out of compliance or if there's misconfigurations that can potentially lead to a data breach. So here you get a, a summary of the latest scan, uh, basically what is passed, what is failed, all of the different compliance benchmarks that have been used to basically measure the posture. And then what you can do is also go in and look at the details of the findings, including what rule was triggered and what are the recommended remediation steps to basically close that gap. So on the next scan, it goes from red to a green. This is a way to maintain good security hygiene and good security posture on an ongoing basis in uh, Google Workspace. And that is how Netscope enables safe collaboration for Google Workspace. If you'd like to learn more, visit netscope.com. Thank you.